welcome back or welcome to my channel if you guys watched my previous video you all saw me unboxing leah i wanted to do a video showing you guys how i'm gonna fix up leah now leah is in a pretty good condition you can see here um the main thing we're gonna be working on is her hair and cleaning up her body so leah's hair is actually a lot longer than i thought it was let me turn her around so you can see already what we need to really work on but i was not expecting her hair to be this long like if i pull it down it goes to like the back of her um, kneecap so it's pretty long and i really want to focus on making it look a lot better because it's already in really good condition and it's really soft it just needs some love another thing that i really want to work on is cleaning up her body so you can see she came with two like black dots i'm not sure what those marks are from and then she does have some red marks on her legs which i wasn't really able to see on the pictures on ebay but now that i have her in person it's quite noticeable and i'm hoping to get rid of it so yeah i want to focus on getting those marks out first so the very first thing i'm going to do is undress her and get her ready for basically a salon day <laughs> now all undressed here so we could see what we're working with she did have a mark on her arm as well that i wanted to focus on getting out all right so i just put some hot water and baking soda in here i think that i added too much water but we're gonna see if this works out for leah so i was definitely right i did end up adding way too much water and not enough baking soda so now i know for future reference that i need to make sure to have these proportions right because i feel like it definitely would have worked a lot better if i added in less water and more baking soda but now i know so yeah i'm just going in with an old toothbrush and scrubbing it all over her body it definitely did work on getting some gunk out but not as good as it probably would have so after I was done with the baking soda, I kind of just washed her off with some soap and water and then I used the microfiber towel to get it off of her and I'm being especially careful around her eyes because I don't want to get any water into her eyes and that's pretty much all I'm doing here is wiping her off to make sure she's all clean. So I just got done with the baking soda. It didn't do anything as far as removing the stains. I definitely feel like she's a lot cleaner. I went in with some soap and like dish soap and water. I, sorry, I didn't show that part, but I just feel like the baking soda made her feel all weird. So yeah, and this stain here is just water, so it'll dry. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is get some nail polish remover and see what we can do about these really annoying stains. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with some nail polish remover and a cotton ball on those really hard stains and see if it does anything. I'm not going to lie, I don't have high hopes for this. It would work better if you had a magic eraser, but definitely right when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go out and buy a acne cream gel because I heard that that works really well for removing stains. I just wanted to make sure that she's at least clean, like her body and everything, you know, because she is a used doll. So hopefully once I get that gel, it'll remove her stains and she could look as good as new because I really don't want to leave these like marks on her. As far as the mark on her hand, it does look a little better. Let me see if I can show you. It's still there, but it's a lot lighter than what it was before. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, y'all, so <laughs> ignore the wet spot. Um, it's taking off something, although you can see the red is still really there. Like, I don't know what this is from. Like, it doesn't look like it's from clothing. It looks like it's from a marker. Um, the black spot did come off a little, but as you can see, it's still pretty noticeable. So, if anyone knows any tricks on what to do to get rid of these stains, please let me know. Okay guys, the next step I want to do, since we're going to move on now to her hair, is grab something to cover her body. I'm using this microfiber towel to just wrap around her. It's okay if your doll's body gets wet, but I just don't want her body to get wet right now. So, she's all snuggled up in here. And this gives me like the freedom to be able to really get in there with her hair. And what I'm gonna be using is just like literally the shampoo that I use in my hair. And then I'm just gonna run it under hot water and then cold water. Okay, so now that her hair is all washed, it already feels a lot softer and smells a lot better. We're gonna start with brushing, so I'm just gonna be using the American Girdle hairbrush. Mine looks cuckoo right now, but yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright y'all, so I just got done brushing her hair and it looks a lot better. I can actually like run the brush through it without it being knotted. And her hair, you can see it shine coming through. Her ends look pretty healthy and overall I'm just really happy. I can't stop brushing her hair because it feels so good and it smells amazing. So I'm going to let this dry for just a little bit. I don't want it to be like completely dry because I'm going to be curling her hair using bobby pins. So I need it to be a little damp, but this is too damp. So yeah, I'll come back. I do have a tutorial up on my channel. If you guys would like to see the exact steps on what I did on how to curl my American Girdle's hair, I'll link that video down below for you guys. So it'll be easier for you all to find if anyone is interested. But basically all I'm doing is grabbing small sections of her hair and using a pencil to wrap it around and then securing it with a bobby pin on top. And the reason why you don't want their hair to be super wet while doing this is because one, it'll take way longer to dry and the hair is a lot slipper, like slippery and it makes it harder to grip around the pencil. So make sure your hair is damp enough but not too wet to the point where you can't hold the hair in place. Alrighty everyone, so I just finished curling her hair. She looks absolutely crazy, but it's okay. I'm gonna leave it in. Um, I'm going to head to work now, so when I get off of work, I'm gonna take it out. So it'll be like eight hours that I'm gonna leave in the curls and then I will update you guys and see how they look when I take them out. So before I take out her curls out of her hair, I actually wanted to go ahead and dress her first just because I think it's a lot easier to put her in her meat outfit before I take out her curls because if I do it the other way around, her hair is going to get really frizzy and I really don't want that so I'm going to go ahead and dress her up first. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, so here I am just taking out our curls. I think that this part is really satisfying, and I wanted to make sure that I got a good amount of clips in this video to show you guys how beautiful the curls came out. Like I mentioned in the video, I left them in for about, I think it was like eight to nine hours, and they came out really, really tight. I definitely could have got away with leaving it in for a shorter amount of time, but I wasn't able to. So because of that, you'll see how tight the curls came out. So just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I just took out all of Leah's curls and wow, did her hair come out extremely curly. Like, look, her hair turned like short. I mean, she still does have like these longer pieces. Um, I know the curls are like too tight for her hair. Sorry, they're kind of messy. Um, but they will eventually fall out. So I don't mind them being tight. Like, I don't really want to brush through her curls that much because I actually like the tight curls on her so yeah you guys here she is I think she looks really really cute I love her meat outfit dress and all the colors and of course her adorable little sandals are my favorite and I'm really happy to have gotten her purse as one of her accessories when I bought her because it's one of my favorite alongside with her headband hopefully I find that for a decent price someday but overall, I'm super happy. She looks like a supermodel. Her hair is beautiful. And I just love everything about this doll. And I was able to cross off a doll on my wish list. So that's super awesome and exciting. And as I mentioned, I will be needing to get like a magic eraser or some gel cream to get rid of those marks. Because I don't want to leave them on her. But that'll probably be for a future video on how to get off like some really serious marks. So yeah. I hope you guys like her hair and I hope you guys think she looks great and that I did a good job. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and please continue to stay tuned for more videos. We're so close to hitting 300 and I couldn't be more grateful for all of you guys. It's really been such an amazing journey and it's just been so much fun and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So yeah, see you guys next video and don't forget to stay tuned. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying my videos and comment down any video suggestions you all may have or you would like to see me do. And yeah, bye guys.